All right, now this is gonna be me recording me making this next video. Here we go. So, <clears throat> open that. Time opening. This is probably a very convoluted way of doing this, but I don't care. Yeah, anyway. I like keeping these under 10 minutes. And and stopwatch. Okay, it always takes a second. Here we go. Hello and welcome back. This is the third video in the Binary Ninja Budo series. I'm going to be going over plugins today. Now, while I mentioned this is going to be very basic... Mm, crap baskets. Alright. Let's do that over again. And... No. Huh. Okay. We are making... Okay, and take, get ready for take two. <clears throat> right. I'm specifically doing this because I, A, want to make sure the videos are concise and on topic. And B, I want to make sure they are under 10 minutes. Not counting the intro. Okay. And here we go. Hello and welcome back. This is the third video in the Binary Ninja Budo series. Today I'll be going over plugins. Not necessarily all the plugins individually, because that's a lot. There's a lot of community plugins, and then of course there's writing my own plugins. For now, this is going to be just really getting them set up, real basic plugins. I'm going to be using the Bookmarks plugin, and there's another one called Explain Instruction. Pretty simple, straightforward to set up. Um, I already pulled down the repo for the community plugins, so. I may redo this and include the steps on getting that set up and adding additional plugin libraries. Um, for now, this is going to be um, yeah, this is going to be utilizing the console for the re um, repository manager. So to get to that, what you need to do is go to script console. This is going to open up down here at the bottom, and then I'm going to make this a little bigger. So we've got that defined. So with that, let's see what we have. And by the way, this is all on the Binary Ninja website. I'll include the link for that in the description. Uh, see if, if there is a straightforward way to get into this without having to watch this video. But for the sake of watching it hands-on, we're going to go through it this way. And I can show you what this will involve. So we're only going to use a few commands for this. There's going to be the... With these, each of the plugins, you essentially install, then enable, and when you want to remove a plugin, you disall, um, disable and uninstall in that order. So what we're going to do first is see what plugins we have available. And as I said, I include. I already pulled down all the community plugins, so we've got quite a bit here. But for the sake of this video, we're going to start in this one here, and. This one, oh, where do you go? It's the, uh, in, um, <sighs> too much hesitating. All right, let me do this. Let's go back. I'm wondering how 
much background noise I'm going to give with this. Last time, I, like the refrigerator is humming right now. Other than that, there's not much noise in the complex. I've adjusted the mic, lowered the gain on it, and I have a volume up on the mic. I'm going to make the gain a little lower. That's the gain. Here we go. So, whoops. Oh, and that's also my CPU fan. Uh, nuts. Up and close some of this stuff. Okay. All right. Cool. So. Well, I'm also recording me doing the recording, so that's probably eating up a lot of space, too. Okay. No, 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 Really? All right. All that just to close that all over again. Because this is a much older laptop. It's almost 10 years old. Believe it or not. Uh, like 6, like 2011, 2012 MacBook Pro. Anyway, um, here we go. And now the phone's vibrating. Yeah, a lot of background noise and chatter is making this a challenge. Let's go and make the next window. What's it doing? Oh, really? Oh, hamburgers. Oh, geez, I was recording all that crap. Uh, nope. Okay. The mic a little bit closer. Okay, now the mic's standing straight up. Got the gain. There we go. It's real low. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I have a specific. There we go. Dimensions I use for this. Okay. Typically when I do these, I also have the phone in airplane mode because I've got way too many distractions going on. Okay. And welcome back. This is the third video in the Binary Ninja Budo series. This time I'll be going over plugins. More or less the rough install and setup of the plugin rather than each and every individual plugin. I'll be covering some of those in more advanced topics as we go. Um, but for now, this is just going to get... The, go through the process of setting them up. So I've got Binary Ninja open. I also have the plugin directory open. This is where it gets a little interesting. So if I look in here, this right here is if you want to install plugins manually, they're going to go here. Now, you already have a folder for repositories. Um, this is you, these are involving the plugins that are um, installed using the plugin manager API. So in here, there's not much in the official plugins for Binary Ninja. Just a couple on the, on the site, because it's a very community-driven product. So you end up having to go, for, go on GitHub and find some, or even create your own, which is a goal of mine in the long term. So we'll look in here, and I've pulled down the plugins already, so there's a, you know just a couple of steps that I'm not including for this one. But for the sake of this one, we're going to install the binary ninja bookmarks which i think i've already installed yep i did and the binja explain instruction that's one of my new favorite ones so with that out of the way let's begin um first thing you do after binary ninja is open you're going to go and open the you're going to go to script console you can get there here or you can do a control tilde and it'll show up there so, there we go. 
So let's see what we have. So that's going to show you all the different methods you can use for this. Typically, the ones we'll be using for this mostly will be the enable and disable plugin and the install and uninstall plugin. So when you're installing these plugins, the order is going to be install, enable, and then uninstalling is disable and uninstall. So let's see, what plugins do I have? I've mentioned all these right here on the right. These are the folders where they're going to be. So we're going to go to explain instruction because there's nothing there now. You'll see the difference when it um, installs. So let's see. There we go. So here's a list of all our plugins. As you can see, the state of them is going to be for the ones that are installed. You're going to see installed and enabled right here. All of them have, it shows their default, their current state. Um, one thing I've learned about this is when you uninstall or install a plugin, you have to restart Binary Ninja in order to get it visible. Uh, and in turn, when you uninstall a plugin, if Binary Ninja is still open, that pl those plugins will still work. But once you close it and then restart it, it will they'll be gone. And I'll show you hands-on that what that looks like. So let's see, there's that one there. And the other one we're going to be installing is the Binja Explain Instruction. And that's somewhere in here. Um, okay, so with that, it's real simple. So let's see. First, we're going to install the bookmarks, and then we're going to reinstall both of them. So disable plugin. Okay, and it sets it as true. By the way, if you see this in, uh, set as false at times when you're trying to uninstall things, that means it may have been installed the wrong way in, in the wrong order, or it didn't completely install. So you'll just have to back out and then read and redo the install. So the next thing we're gonna do is now it's disabled, but it's still in there. So. That's gone now. As you can see, we'll, I'll show you this in a minute. So you're seeing the create bookmark and go to bookmark or these options for the bookmarks. That means it's still active in Binary Ninja. So if I were to open this program and set a bookmark here, and go there, and this is a pretty cool plugin by the way. So if I go to bookmark, Shows it right there, goes right to the address of memory. And now, so it's still active. Now if I close Binary Ninja, and open it back up, voila, no more bookmark plugin. So we're going to add that back in, and we're going to also add the explain instruction. Oops. Okay. So oops. Well, let's try that. Ah, that's not an equal. That's a plus sign. Equals. So when it stalls, it starts, it'll pull everything down. And there it is. Let's see. Wait just a minute. Okay, so I've installed both of these. Now I have to enable them. Oops. 
nothing's in there yet. Close binary ninja out. So if I were doing something in this, I'd likely either have a, a lot of plugins active um, or just use a couple at a time. But more than likely, if I was operating or trying to do something in Binary Ninja, I would have already had these plugins enabled and working already rather than closing and opening every single time. So now we go to Tools and we see the Bookmark plugin and there's also Explain Instruction right here. So let's see what this does. I'm going to open this Hello World 32 program to simple Hello World file. We're going to set a bookmark here on this instruction. Create bookmark. Derp. Let's create another bookmark for Derp 2. Why not? And now. Okay, what we're going to do is, well, we're going to go to that bookmark. Got our two bookmarks here. Let's go to derp. Well, gee, what does derp do? What does this line mean? We're going to explain instruction. And it takes a second. There we go. Didn't have to use Jeopardy music. So this is one, this is a plugin I'm already starting to like. Uh, as I said, I'm still learning this as I go. So one thing that's going to be helpful is it'll give me a better idea of what to look for and when a, what, what, like it gives me more specific things to look on, look up and study. So with that out of the way, we've got these two plugins working. Bookmark works, plugin works. I'm going, there's a couple more plugins I want to explain and go through because I had some trouble installing them. Um, the first time around. So once I get that done, there will be a part two of the plugins video. With that out of the way, this is the end of the video. If you like the video, please like it on, just click the like button. If you have any questions, concerns, complaints, or comments, feel free to provide them in the comment section, share the video out. And if you have any questions, you can also hit me up on Twitter. With that out of the way, see you next time. Okay, now I'm going to see what this sounds like. Okay, I still hear the CPU fan. It is ridiculously loud. I can hear it through the headphones. Wow. All right, let's try this. We're going to make this... Uh... That being said, I know why it's loud because I'm doing a recording of me making a recording. So, yeah, pretty loud nonetheless. So what we're going to do is I'm saving this, and then what I'm going to do next is put it in iMovie. And I'm pretty certain you're going to find better ways to do this. I'm sure there's a lot of criticism. Uh, uh, okay. Update. All right. Come on. Come on.
just under 10 minutes. It's a lot of dead sound right there. No sound right now. Let's see what it looks like. I still sound like I'm in a wiring closet. Jeez. All right. Uh, noise reduction. Let's see what this does. Okay. Holy shit, this is loud. All right, I'm going to kill the stream or the recording that is and let's stop.